Hello. This video is kind of a continuation of my last video because in that video I got a little bit interrupted and I didn't quite manage to get done what I was trying to get done. So if you want to see all the gory details of exactly what this is here and how it works and what I'm trying to do, you can watch my last video. I'll put a little link up here. Uh, but just to sum it up briefly, I'm using an Arduino and the NRF 24L01 radio module to both send control inputs to this car and also to send back using the ACK payload feature the GPS position and the heading from the compass up here and I'm reading those into an Android app through the serial connection and I'm displaying the position and the heading of the car on the map as I drive and I have an FPV camera under there to let me see what I'm doing and what I'm trying to do is figure out how far away I can get before the signals cut out um, and just yeah just check check how the radio link works basically uh, so what I did last time was I used these horrible stinky um, rubber duck type antennas on both the transmitter and the receiver for both the control and the um, video but I've decided not to do that this time, so yeah, because it wasn't very, it was a little bit disappointing really. So, what I have now is I have Cloverleaf and Skew Planer on both the 2.4 gig and the 5.8 gig, so that's the, the control and the video. Everything is working on Cloverleaf. Um, and also on the <clears throat> transmitter side, there is that as well for both. So everything's um, circularly polarized antennas all around this time. And it was much, much better. So what I'll do is, basically I'm just doing the same thing as my last video. So I'll just place a sped up version of today's video, because it was quite long. And I'll just mention some interesting points, if there happen to be any, during that video. There was one other thing I changed and that was to properly calibrate the compass. So the way it works now is when you turn the car on it'll twitch the wheels once and then it'll give you 20 seconds within which you need to turn the car around in the full ori orientation possibilities that it's going to see while it's driving. And then it'll twitch the wheels again to let you know that that's finished. And that gives you a lot better readings from the compass. In fact, they they seem very, very consistent now, but they're actually a few degrees off. Um, looks like about 15 degrees off continuously, but it's consistent. So if you can see here, the car is consistently driving in the direction that's a little bit to the left of where the arrow is pointing. Um, I have actually taken into account the magnetic declination of where I am, and that is 7 degrees. So it kind of looks like that might have something to do with it, actually. So perhaps I put it the wrong way, and that's why I've got approximately 15 degrees off. This area here with all these concrete block things is about 180 meters from where I am. And both the video and the control started to cut out a tiny little bit here, which is a bit strange because I managed to go 300 meters in the other direction. So um, I'm not sure why... I couldn't go too far in this direction because both directions are quite flat. There's not really too much um, hilly, bumpy bits sticking out that would mess up the radio too much, unless these concrete block things were doing it. I was going to try going down this path a little bit, but the video was cutting out quite badly and also the sun was in my eyes, so I changed my mind.
it was kind of nice that there were not so many people around this time. Last time was also a weekday, but um, maybe it was a school holiday or something because there was a lot of people around that day. Batter up! There's a little depression in the ground here that caused the video to cut out a little bit. I was kind of expecting that, so I drove straight through it. But apart from that, and the other couple of places that I mentioned where the video was not very good, uh, everything else was very, very good, clear video, and the 2.4 gig, like the, the NRF24 module, was perfectly in control the whole time. Now this point here seemed to be about as far as I could get any decent video transmission from. This is just on 300 meters away from where I'm standing. So I decided to call it a day there and I was heading back. And unfortunately on the way back I went over a bump or something I'm guessing and perhaps there may be a loose connection somewhere that um, reset the radio module without resetting the Arduino or vice versa and for whatever reason uh, the radio connection, control connection, just completely stopped and I had to go over and turn it off and on again. It was fine after that but it just wouldn't be a day in the life of this project without a walk of shame at some point, would it?